Is this the right move? I'm going to answer that question quickly. Okay. And I want to talk about what I want to talk about here. You got it. It is the right move to see what you have on your roster when you're hopelessly out of it and you have an aging, declining quarterback. So it is the right move to take a look at other guys. And the Giants, in fact, handled that the right way because they came to Eli and said, you still start, keep the streak going, but we want to take a look at other guys. And because Eli's such a mensch, such a stand-up guy, so honorable, he's like, no, no, we're not going to do that. For that, I'm going to sit down. And that's what created the uproar. But is it the right move to play Geno Smith? I mean, it's nice that the Giants, the last franchise to start an African-American quarterback, are finally doing it. That's nice. But Geno Smith? Geno Smith is the guy you start when you don't have a franchise quarterback. But the Giants do have a franchise quarterback, and the only reason to take a look would be because you want to see what you got in Davis Webb, who you drafted in the third round, who's a good college player, who you hope may have a future. You want to see if you want to use your high first-round draft pick yeah. this year on a quarterback. So you check Davis Webb out. And if you say, well, we don't want to get him killed behind a bad offensive line, so we'll use Geno Smith as a tackling dummy for a while. Well, for that, just stick Eli Manning there. Why make the change? So, so, no, this is not the right move because instead of, instead of Davis Webb, it's Geno Smith. That's not the right move. But, Stephen A., when you are hopelessly out of the playoffs and you have an older, declining quarterback, I felt this way about Jeter at the end. I, Jeter may have cost the Yankees the playoffs last game of his career. I'm not just, oh, a fan. When I'm a fan of the team, I give the guy extra respect. I believe this. I talk about the cliff with Tom Brady. J Jeter was a bad player in his final season. No good. Eli Manning, eventually you got to see what else you got. It's not a bad idea to check that out. Yeah. It's not a bad, especially when you offer him the, the, the opportunity to keep the streak alive by starting him. It is a bad idea to bench him for this guy. We know what Geno Smith is, Stephen A. We have a big sample size. He's not a franchise quarterback. Eli is. That is a bad idea. It's a disastrous move. It's a wrong move all the way around, and there are no ifs, ands, or buts surrounding it. I don't want to hear those qualifiers. This is a disgrace. Ben McAdoo, enjoy your time in New York City. It will be over by the end of December. You need to go. Preach. New York doesn't want you. Goodbye. You stink. You did an awful job this year. The team turned against you. They quit on you. You've demoralized the franchise. You've embarrassed them. You got to go, and I'm here to say I'm sorry to say it, but Jerry Reese, you should go, too. After a move like this, this is an abomination, okay? Excuse me, Tish and the Mara family, you should be ashamed of yourself to do this to this man. Let's be clear about this here. Eli Manning, a two-time Super Bowl champion, a two-time Super Bowl MVP. All of a sudden, he's aged in dog years and can't get it done. Oh, I'm sorry. Can somebody tell me one quarterback that can be successful? No wide receivers, no running game, no offensive line. Who is the quarterback who can produce under those circumstances? Aaron Rodgers. No, That's about it. not even him. Oh. Not even him. Excuse me. There was Jordy Nelson. There's Randall Cobb. There's Devontae Adams. He's had weapons. Now, he's a bad man, and Eli doesn't even compare to the great Aaron Rodgers. Don't get me wrong. But in the same breath, offensive line was relatively decent. Devoid of a running game, you still had a passing game. By the way, he was a mobile quarterback. If you are Eli Manning, we all know snails can run faster than him. So we clearly understand that he's not the most mobile dude in the world. But the flip side to it is this. Again, I'm going to be rhetorical and repetitive here. No offensive line for years. No running game for years. And your wideouts are all out. Brandon Marshall, Odell Beckham Jr., gone. And so when you look at it from that perspective, what did you give him to work with? And you're going to throw him under the bus? If you had the parts around him and clearly there was slippage with him, that would be different. But you cannot say definitively that you saw these things when you don't have those pieces around well, him. 